Hello Annette, welcome to my holiday vlog. I'm in Lanzarote, heading to the beach, because when I got up this morning, all of the other British people at the resort, they put towels on every single lounger, because they literally just want to slob out in the sun all day and not move from the hotel, which is totally fine. But I'm now walking, walking like the people to the beach with a massive bottle of iced tea to keep me hydrated. Look at that, it's now all holiday. All holiday nice. Maybe I should have hired a bike instead of walking. Just in case anyone wondered, you do not get this in England. Oh, it's all nice. It's all nice. I was just walking along there, I don't actually know what kind of beach it is, so that could have been a New Year's beach and I could have just been putting loads of naked people on my channel. Oh, all the locks of love. My brain's a bit confused because I associate November with bad weather. In fact, I associate living in the UK with bad weather. It doesn't matter if it's January, February, July, bad weather. But this is actually really nice. It's a little bit windy, so hopefully I can be heard. It's rather dawn relaxing. I feel really, really lazy now because I'm, I'm literally walking to the beach to just lay down and that's going to be me for the day. And there's a whole gym on the other side. People are wiggling, wiggling away while I'm just walking. But I have swam the last few days. That's literally been my um, exercise. Drag myself off the sun lounger into the pool and I've swam. And then I've got back on the sun lounger and felt like everything else I do that day is now okay because I've done like three laps of the pool. Goalie! It's actually quite a nice beachfront in Lanzarote. I've never been here before. This is one of the Canary Islands. There you go, there's some geography, geography facts. Family friendly channel giving you all the geography facts. North of Fort Ventura. North of Fort Ventura. And I'm trying not to swear. So YouTube doesn't flag my video because that seems to be the thing that I love to do. I get a video uploaded, check back a few hours later, flagged. I blame Lauren. Lauren has got such a potty mouth. She just can't stop swearing. I'm so wholesome and never swear. And as soon as I'm with Lauren, I just swear so much. Hello, aeroplane. This is where I scream like a girl when I put my feet in the sea. That's fresh, fresh. Nah, that's actually all right, it's nice. Listen to the soothing sound of the ocean. Close your eyes and drift away. Imagine you're on a sandy, sandy beach in the sun. There's a gentle breeze blowing. Oh wait, there is. All right then guys, I'm gonna introduce you to someone I've made a friend on holiday. So, go down the stairs. Whilst vlogging, probably not the best idea. I'm probably gonna drop the camera. It's all right, I've got the strap on. I'm safe vlogging, be safe when you vlog. All right then, look, look. Oh, this is Holiday Cat. And as you can see, I have bought Holiday Cat some food and I'm feeding Holiday Cat. Oh, yes. So hopefully people will see that Holiday Cat has been fed. And then when my holiday is over, Hopefully someone else will continue feeding Holiday Cat so that Holiday Cat is well looked after. So yeah, that was Holiday Cat. Thumbs up for Holiday Cat. This is the most amazing towel ever. Look at that. Can you believe my mom didn't want this towel? I sent a little snap of the towel and said, do you want it? And she said, no. But look at it. So this, what I've been told is like a market but it's not next to the actual old town but people who are staying here don't realize there's an old town and everything's really expensive here compared to there but tonight i was too lazy to walk to said old town so i came here knowing that everything's really expensive that's why i'm vlogging it and not buying it oh, but look at that look at the cuts look at that one it's doing a lick lauren would go mad for this in fact, I bet when Lauren sees this vlog, she's going to be like, and why did you not buy me that? Why have I not got that cat towel right now? Why am I having to dry myself with an insuperior towel that is not covered in cats? 
and I'm gonna have to explain myself. I just saw this sign outside the supermarket. <laughs> and it's, it's a little bit faded, I'll give it that. But at first glance, it looks like she is grinning because she has bought a massive dildo. Look at the smile on her face with a massive dildo. <sighs> Selfie with the dildo. So at night, as you can tell, this place is lit by, I don't know, it's like old fashioned lights. It's like they had the option of you can either have these bulbs, but it's going to use up more electricity, it's going to cost more money. I can give you these ones. So it's kind of like the lights aren't quite on, but they are. It's a little bit like the upside down. That's what it's like. There's only so much all-inclusive you can take when it's when it's two stars. So this, this is a nice treat. All right, guys, the next part of the vlog might be from a hospital because I'm about to ride this bad boy all the way into town. So we are, where are we? Here. No? Oh, I don't know, but we're going that way anyway. Yep, yeah. yeah. we're gonna go all the way up there. And obviously, this is Spain, so there's no laws. There's no laws, apart from staying on the, we'll stay on the left or the right? Right, right. All right then, wish me luck. So I haven't walked to the beach the other day. I've got to say, this is actually all right, because as it happens, I've sat on this side. So that steering wheel does jack shit. That one is having to do all of the steering while I just kind of pant a little bit and vlog. But I've got my little speaker on, so I've got the tunes on. A little bit worried that everything's gonna fall out at some point, but if anyone's going to Spain, I recommend getting one of these. Although the flyer that the woman had, dog uh, toilet. Dog toilet. That's discrimination. There's loads of cats here. I didn't see any cat toilets. Cats just get away. Cats, cats do what they want. Please. I'm doing some exercise. Apart from the swimming, this is the only exercise I've done this week. But I'm on holiday, so that's okay, isn't it? That is what I'm telling myself. It's all right then. If we make it to the town, can you see the town all the way up there? If we make it to the town, see there. All right, noisy plane. Making progress. This is good, going downhill is good because I literally don't have to do anything. Just watch all the people walking saying, yeah, what do you think of me? What do you think of me? Oh, oh uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I don't do the steering here, so at this point I get a little bit worried because I don't have any control over the steering and that just tricks my brain into thinking I've got control and I haven't got control. Uh, going uphill now and it's, the struggle is very real. So next to the pool, it's been deathly silent, I literally they've been playing no music and everyone's just lay there like a bit awkward or the people are chatting and that's not what it's about. It's about reading. I'm currently reading Chelsea Handler's third book because I finished Anna Kendrick's on the first day. They've, they've got no music, so I've got my little my little pocket boom speaker, which is awesome. So I've just had my tunes blasting and I had to do a little cleanse of my playlist. I took a little bit of the country off because I thought, you know, it's probably not what it's about. They're not going to appreciate a bit of Kelsey Ballerina. Not the same way that I do. Um, so yeah, I've been bringing the tunes. So when I go on Sunday, they're going to be fucked. I'm just going to be sat in silence waiting to die. We have made it to suburbia. There's lots of white, lots of people, lots of beach. I don't think I could have a cocktail and ride this thing. Sure. I mean, I, we'll go to Maryland on the way past. I know, I know majority, but I feel like this, this is enough of a workout. I mean, look at them legs go. Look at the sheer strain. You can't even see where we came from. And you might be thinking, the weather looks a bit shite. But it's actually been really nice all week and this is nice because my body has had so much heat that the breeze is actually quite refreshing. If I ever come back, I think I want to stay in one of those little houses right on the beach. It's quite nice, isn't it? Oh, it's got some goalposts. They look like they will attract the children. And the last thing you want when you're home over in the morning is kids screaming, having fun. Because I can't even remember the last time I woke up thinking life is good. I wake up and I'm like, why? Why am I so tired? Even though I'm on holiday, I'm so tired every morning. I've got a good life in Spain. I can see why loads of Brits retire over here. I mean, look at that little muscle beach as well. What more could you want? So we have came from there, all the way to there, nearly, nearly at the objective location. So there's a nice little jetty here, um, and not much else. And you can't even see where I have just cycled from. I'm not quite sure why I did that. I thought that would be a lot. 
quicker than it was. It's like when you've got a bike and you've got it in really low gear, so you pedal really fast and you're like, I should be going so much faster than I'm going, but it's kind of limited. Never go on a long, whatever you want to call that ride, without sugar. You need sugar. Otherwise, you're just gonna, you're just gonna find yourself with no energy and you're just gonna cry. And you're just gonna stop and you're just gonna be like, what am I supposed to do? This is it, this is the end. And you're stuck here. And then you have to wait for Sonia, the bike lady, to come and find you and be like, why didn't you bring my bike back? Ah, can't really see much, but there should be a big town. And it's took half an hour to get to where I am. But it's nice, it's nice to see the place. I've came to the conclusion that I don't know how people go up skyscrapers and stuff and take pictures because I've literally stood here and like that. It's it's not that high up, but I, like, I feel like I've got vertigo. I'm probably moving with like a penguin, just just tiny little pivot, pivotly pivot. So for anyone wondering, I made it. So that skyscraper kind of thing over there, that's as far as you can go. So this is a little beach stop, because that took about 50 minutes and I cannot be you to go back the way we came. Because it's all well and good going down those hills and going really fast until you realise, oh right, I'm going to have to paddle back up them hills. But this is so nice, because back where we are, it's just really rocky. Like literally you can't go in the water because it just rocks. I think it's mandatory on holiday vlogs to do a little, a little montage of me going into the ocean and pretending that it's lovely and warm and it's probably not and I'm not freezing my balls off when I probably am, so enjoy. Well, that was all right. All right then, had a little bit too long in the water because it was really nice, but I'm hoping it's gonna make my tan look wicked. So it's time to cycle back and get some tasty cocktails from the place that we passed on the way. Because we are not gonna get back in 30 minutes to avoid paying an extra five euros. And if Lauren knew I was trying to get back in 30 minutes to avoid paying an extra five euros, she'd be like, Lee, for fuck's sake, it's five euros. So just enjoy yourself, you're on holiday. So Lauren, that is what I'm gonna do. So I'm just trying to desand my feet before I get back on my bike. I didn't think to bring a towel. My towel is currently on a sun lounger next to the pool because I am that dick that wanted a nice sun lounger position so I sat on it for like an hour this morning and I thought right that is an acceptable time to be on the sun lounger now let's fuck off for a few hours come back after lunch and get the ideal spot for afternoon sunbathing after people have looked at those sun loungers with two towels on with no people on them in disgust for the last four hours. British etiquette. Look at this rock. This is giving me Game of Thrones vibes. Look, you could do like a Daenerys photo shoot down here with some CGI dragons, but there's also lots of little flies. So I'm kind of like, Lee, this was a bad idea, leaving the little buggy up there and coming all the way down here. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take some photos on the rocks. I've just been stood up there taking some photos and um, I've sent Hugo up now, but it absolutely stinks of piss down here. It stinks of piss, but how cool is that place for photos? So I'm just gonna take some of Hugo. I just want to show you that I've just been up there like a boss. That's a little photo shoot done. I was thinking I'll just hop down, but probably not hop down, it's quite high. So that tower is where we got to um, somewhere. You can't even see where we've got to get back to. What is life? Just stopped at the bar called Marilyn's for a tasty margarita and what? And it's literally um, pure alcohol. Pure alcohol. When a random pigeon just lands in front of your cocktail. Hello, little pigeon friend. Oh, there's two. Well, this is um, unex unexpected. I can't, can't imagine they're too hygienic, really. I probably shouldn't make friends with the birds. Hello, birds. That bird has got no fear. Bird, why are you not scared of us? Why are you not flying away? What is going through that bird mind of yours? What are you thinking, bird? What are you thinking? What are you thinking, bruv? What are you thinking? What are you thinking, bruv? Oh, there you go, that's Marilyn's behind me. Um, someone must have been having a massive shit because I waited a few minutes for the toilet and they were still in there. So I thought, yeah, I'm just gonna have to hold it in till I get back because I've got to get all the way back there and we've got 30 minutes to get this back. I was just gonna take a photo, but this lighting is awesome. Look at that sunset, guys. 
It's so pretty. I'm back in the maze of palm trees. They could film a horror film here, like literally look at it. So this is what the place looks like without any of those dodgy lights on at night. Right, I'm just vlogging just for the sake of getting that look at that moon. How awesome is that moon in the background? So this is what it's like to walk somewhere. If I was back home, I would never dream of a 40 minute walk to get somewhere. But since I'm on holiday, it looks very pretty. I'm using my legs and walking. Even though this is the same day that I did the bike ride and did a couple of laps in the pool because it was far too hot when I got back. I was sweltering. Because what you take for granted when you're in hotel rooms and stuff, like the Hilton and that, and they've got aircon, and then you come on holiday and there's no aircon. And you just gotta get naked. Or as naked as you can get without getting arrested. And sometimes even then, you're still too hot. I thought you only got the love hot places in like, is it France? Look at all these. So much love in Lanzarote. So much love. I feel like I should get one and write on like Lee was here. Lee was here 17. Like ERE, like proper chav speak. Not proper English, not the Queen's English. The English of the people. So this is Old Town and look at the, can you see it? There's the moon again. It's looking awesome tonight. Doesn't really translate to camera, but it looks wicked in real life. IRL. So, looking for the things to do. Morning guys. Uh, uh, coming back from holiday is always, it's the worst. But I had an awesome holiday. If you guys enjoyed the holiday vlog, give it a big thumbs up, click subscribe to my channel down below and check all my Instagram and all that other stuff out. All the links are down below. Thanks for watching guys.